hello guys and then welcome to another video <clears throat> okay so from our previous video um, tutorial we got to study um, the complex numbers okay so the tr trigonometric functions of complex numbers okay and then using the the more race theory okay and then we go to arrive at these answers okay in case you've not watched that video kindly go back and um, take a sneak peek at it or just go through it so that you get to understand whatever you will be doing in this video okay so um in this video instead of going through the um, expansion and then binomial expansion and then applying some form of indices okay and then doing some substitution just like we did in this video okay so we won't be doing that okay we'll be um just solving the question straightforward okay we'll be arriving at the exact solution but with a different approach okay it is going to be very very simpler okay a very simple approach okay so in case you are new here kindly subscribe okay kindly subscribe subscribe and hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any tutorial video or any um helpful calculator trick you might miss okay right so now let's get right into this video so from our previous video um video tutorial on the marvelous theory okay we go to express um certain trigonometric functions just like the sine theta okay sine 3 theta in the, in the powers of sine theta okay and then cos 3 theta in the powers of cos theta okay so sine 3 theta in the powers of sine theta and then cos 3 theta in the powers of cos theta okay so in this video we'll be um, using a simple approach to arrive at the exact answer we could see that this is a question this might be a, especially a multiple choice question okay and then we have option a option b option c okay and then there's another example cos 4 theta as powers of cos theta so we have option a option b and then option c um per the traditional method you might uh, you might just start by expanding this okay with the binomial expansion and then arrive at either this this or that as your answer okay same thing applies to this but in this video we'll be doing this straightforward simple approach so kindly stay with me follow me systematically and then you'll get to understand whatever we'll be doing in this video this is very very simple straight to the forward and then most of these questions always come in your exams okay there's no need to go by the traditional method just like the previous video but in case you know that that will be a plus for you because you get to understand the basics of what you are doing and then in case it comes back as a theory based question you could just um do it okay so let's get right into this okay so this is what we'll be doing we'll be expressing sine 3 theta okay in the powers of sine theta so as we did in the previous video you might start expanding using your binomial expansion to arrive at any of these answers but in this video this is going to be very very straightforward simpler approach. so first thing you need to know is you first um have to pick up your calculator okay pick up your calculator so just follow me and then you get to understand this okay now the calculator doesn't recognize any value okay any variable okay so unlike x or y so this is what we will be doing we will be representing every theta okay every theta you see in these expressions or these answers in the form of x okay so we'll substitute x forward theta so whenever you see theta substitute that with x now the second thing you have to know is that you have to choose a reasonable value okay for x that is theta let's say it could be two okay or it could be three okay now these are the only th two things you need to know the third part is the calculator trick okay so i'll get into that soon as possible but first you need to substitute theta okay into what x and then you choose a reasonable value for x that is either two or three okay or any value but it has to be very very reasonable okay now let's get right into this video or this trick now 
pick up your calculator okay this is our calculator right okay so let's clear everything okay let's try to clear everything right now all you have to do is to punch this in your calculator right but first let's put the calculator in the radians and what the radius format okay just like we did with our previous calculation with polar um, representation and rectangular representation in case you haven't watched that video kindly go back and then watch it okay so you click on shift mode and then you choose four okay you choose four now all your answers will be in radians because we are dealing with trick functions okay that is why we converted the decrease into radians now first first punch this on your calculator okay point this on your calculator but one thing you have to know is that substitute the theta with x okay substitute the theta with x and then you choose a reasonable value for x which is either two or three okay now let's do that right away okay so we have what sign what three okay and then choose a reasonable value for x let's say our s is two okay so we have two okay right let's let's see what we get what did we get we had what negative what 0 0.279 okay let's keep that answer this okay sine 3 theta will give us negative 0 0.279 Seven nine, okay. That is sine three theta. Okay, sine three theta. Okay, now let's see if any of these answers will correspond to this value. Okay, once it corresponds to this value, it means that that is the answer for this question. Okay. You can also do it the traditional way, try to prove it with your binomial expansion and stuff, and you will arrive at the same answer, okay? Yes, let's start. Okay, so let's start from C, okay? Let's start from C. So we have what? 4 sine what? X, okay? Minus, because we are representing the theta with X, okay? So minus 3 sine minus 3 okay we have sine of what x x right then we have exponent what 3 okay now let's choose our x value okay we chose 2 for the sine 3 theta so we are using that throughout okay we are choosing 2 throughout okay so we have what click on calc that's calc and then choose 2 okay now we could see that we had 1.38 it doesn't correspond to this one okay it doesn't correspond to sine 3 theta the answer we had for sine 3 theta so we move on okay let's move on to b option b okay so we have what minus 4 sine theta okay 4 sine x okay minus 3 sine what x okay exponent what three right let's choose the value again to be two let's choose the value again to be two what did we get we had what minus 5.89 it means that b is not the corresponding answer to this expression okay now let's choose a let's check out for a and see whether that one will correspond so by now you might be thinking that most definitely a would be the answer okay but let's check first okay so we have what three sine what theta that's x okay close the bracket minus what four sine of x okay exponent three right and then let's choose value for x that is what we chose two so let's choose two okay wow it's magic right there's no magic this is how you learn smarts your fellow colleagues might be trying to prove this starting from the binomial expansion blah 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 but since this is an mcq question you have to find a smarter way to find the exact answer okay you can just do this within 
30 seconds you might even finish this one within um 10 seconds in case you started from option a because i want to prove for me i wanted to prove that b and c were in the answer so that's why i began from c then b and then a so from this we know that this also corresponds to this value okay which is equal to the sine 3 theta so it means that a is the answer now let's move on to question 2 okay cos 4 theta as powers of cos theta okay um, let's clear this right so let's first point cos 4 theta so we have cos 4 you can just insert the theta value or just do it just like we did in the first example okay so you can just point 4 theta that's a 4x and then you choose a specific value for x for this let's choose the x value to be 3 okay you can also choose to a x okay let's choose a value towards a theta value or x value towards 3 okay now since x is 3 we are words um we have a value to be cos what we have 0 0.84 right yes 0 0.84 let's say 39 okay let's say 39 okay this cos 4 theta okay now let's check for the answers Okay, so we have um first let's punch option A. Okay, so we have what cos theta okay exponent cos theta exponent what four right minus eight okay cos theta okay exponent two then plus one okay the first we are checking for a okay so now let's choose our x value our x value is what three okay so let's check wow so a is not the answer yes a is not the answer let's move on to b let's check for option b okay a is not the answer because this value doesn't correspond to 0 0.8439 okay that's what it means so let's check for option b so we have 8 cos x exponent 4, right? Minus 8 cos x exponent 2, right? Then we have plus 1, okay? Let's check. So, how can then let's choose our value 3, okay? wow this is like magic right no there's no magic this is just how you learn smart it's simple this is how you learn smart so you could see that option b okay option b corresponds to this value it means that b is the answer for question two now what if you had um expression and then they, they were like express um sign three theta okay plus um let's say this an example okay let's say you yeah, have cos four theta as powers of as powers of sine okay sine theta and um cos and cos theta okay they might give you something like sine theta cos sine 3 theta plus cos 3 theta no you won't be getting anything, anything like cos 4 theta this is just an example that's why i use cos 4 theta okay so it would be something like sine 3 theta plus cos 4 theta so once you get it and um, you get something like this you might go through the traditional method expansion binomial substitution and all that but once you know this exact trick i just pull over here all you, you'll be doing is adding this value okay this value okay once you add this value to this value the exact value you get that will be 
that should correspond to any of the answers in the okay in the options okay so the sum of these two numbers has to correspond to the exact substitution you do when it comes to finding the answer the corresponding answer for the mcq question okay so let's say you get you have this okay let's say you have um minus 0.279 okay plus 0 0.8439 okay let's see this is the answer you get okay so this this will be the main answer so when you are searching for the exact value or the exact option for the question you look out for the substitution which will end up with this value okay yes that's how it works so this is how you learn smart and not hard okay i hope you enjoyed this video okay and then i will see you in the next one but first kindly subscribe okay subscribe to the channel and then switch on your bell icon so that you don't miss out on any video okay and then i'll urge you to like the video like the video share the video and then in case you have any other suggestions questions or anything you want to share with us kindly leave them in the comment section below and then i'll reply to them okay see you in the next video bye bye